Yeah, well, 2018, yeah, 2018 was not bad for me actually, you know, because a lot of things have happened. But for me, it's okay. At least I made progress in my life and everything. So, but um, for the country, as they, one of the most shocking news is <laughs> when they said um, I'll be snake swallow about how many million from my head off his fat. That was my most shocking news I heard. That how, come, how come snake swallow money and all that? So for me, that's it. 2018 is an amazing year, you know, nationally speaking. And as a Nigerian, you know, 2018 is also one of the most surprising year, you know, and um, I wouldn't want to join the bandwagon because we already, um, we already belong to the school of thought that are preaching the new tribes that I imagine in this nation. Okay, so generally speaking, I would say it's one of the most amazing years in this country. So many things happened and I think uh, there's going to be a new narratives to all those things. And, um, you know, one of the, the things, I mean, the major news that shook me, you know, has to do with the fact that the president is Jubril now. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's very funny. It's just like saying that uh, Donald Trump is no more Donald Trump, that Donald Trump is now John Trump. <laughs> Probably 2018 was somehow good and bad, somehow, but all the way, we thank God. And well, the only thing that shocked me at the end is this uh, Saraki's uh, final uh, disgrace when he went for a rally at a lorry there that he was being called Ole, 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 Ole. Generally, 2018 has not been that bad. Economically, everybody is complaining. Like um, the president, President Muhammad Bari is not doing fine economically. But aside that, I don't think there's nothing really bad about 2018. And as regards the most shocking news that I'll call, I would love to go to the political sphere in Lagos State to be precise. It came to us as a sudden when we realized um, Governor Ambole would be going for a second time. It was a shocker to virtually everybody in Lagos State. But with time, we are all flowing along the new man coming on. But in as much as it's the same party. It's been, it's been tough, but uh, from the toughness, I could say it's been good, you know. Yeah, the challenges makes it makes made me see opportunities. So, and uh, the, the major news that I wouldn't say is a shock, but it's a big, it's a big, um, it's a big news. Is you know the the rates the rate of inflation, you know at past years it was up, but I think we are kind of a bit stable on the economy to this year. 2018 has been a challenging year, but despite all, we thank God for so far He has led us. We thank God for His grace that made us to see this day. Uh, Nigeria, the greatest news that challenged me in Nigeria is the way the Boko Haram set are killing our soldiers without being able to get them down. Despite the name Nigeria means having in, uh, in the world army. Well, uh, 2018 has been has been great, but um, as we all know, the Nigerian economy has not been so great uh, because um, the authorities have not focused mostly on the economy because the economy has been in a very bad shape, and we discover that. Uh, Majority of the people are hungry. Majority of the people are hungry, and there need to be uh, palliatives that could uh, that will uh, augur that. Now, if you look at the the previous government, the exchange rate was 150 naira when they came in, but now it's 350 something naira, and then fair price was 80. 80, 87 naira is now 145 and that is a double burden on the citizens of the country.